Hello ladies and gentlemen over at the Yes Epic Yes channel. Guys, I hope you're all doing really well. And before we do get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to Yes Epic Yes and drop a like down below. Also, if you could share the video with your friends and your family, it will be very much appreciated. So guys, today I am bringing to you an unboxing video. So today we are going to be unboxing um, a men's aftershave that I have just recently purchased uh, and it is a Hugo Boss aftershave. Um, that is called Hugo Boss Just Different. It's a 125ml bottle, so it's a very big bottle. Uh, and I'll get into the video and show you guys my opinions on it, the smell, etc. Because I know for a lot of people, especially men, um, it's hard to find the right smell just over a video. So I'll do my best to explain uh, the different smells that are coming to you know, my senses. Um, and I'll also show you guys the box and the bottle that it comes with as well. So as I said, don't forget to subscribe to Yes Epic Yes, guys. Before we do get into this, uh, guys, tell me your f three favorite um, men's aftershaves or if women are watching this, your three favorite perfumes um, in the comment section of this video down below. My three favorite are probably this Hugo Boss one, uh, Paco Rabanne 1 million, um, and Creed Aventus. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're quite good. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get this open and then I will show you guys what we are dealing with inside. Quite a tough box to get into, actually. Right, guys, so now we're in. Oh, so they just fill it with these to avoid uh, the actual bottle itself breaking. So we will get all of them open. I'll show you guys a better view of it now as well. And as we can see here it is. Let me just get all of these out first. Uh, as I said, these are put in, they're just little bags full of air that I just put in to uh, avoid the box itself from, you know, breaking or whatever. So the two products that come in here is the actual box itself, which I will get into in a minute. Um, and then oh, obviously there is the receipt. So this is obviously just saying thank you for shopping with us. So this is the 125 mil um, bottle that I've gone for today. And first impressions, guys, it is looking really nice. Um, so the front is like a black grey with a red in Hugo. And then the top and the bottom, as well as this side, is red as well. So on the back, there's a few information about the ingredients. Um, and basically everything that goes in it to make it smell like what it is. So here it says a vibrant uh, fragrance with a cool twist to inspire you to do whatever you want to do. So the top notes are ice cold mint, which is very nice, uh, a nice aromatic sort of taste. Um, the heart notes is basil and freesia and the base notes is uh, cashmere. So guys, overall, as we can see from the ingredients as well, um alcohol aqua quite a few other sort of chemicals and that that go into here so without further ado let's get it open and then i will show you guys from there so in fact i do like this so obviously every aftershave has this extra flap to avoid spillages with the bowl and then we will just get that out for you guys so now the box is empty and this is the aftershave guys so as you can see, it is a very big bottle. I'll compare it for size. Uh, it's definitely not small. So we've got so the red print at the top, in, which says Hugo. Um, the back and the bottom is all plain. And it's like a matte black finish, which I think it does look quite professional. Um, as for the lid, it is very nice. It sort of stays within the bottle as it's got this little um, Velcro bit here. So you're just going to twist and that will stay there so you will never really have to worry about losing the lid so this will come with it i'll just put a few sprays on the wrist now oh yeah guys that really is a nice flavor it's full of surprise um as i said it's made for men who want to make their own rules so it's sort of like a cooling iced mint um and obviously the sense of freezer basil coriander sort of energize the fragrance as well um i do think it is nice for the price it isn't too bad either i know it is an expensive product um however it is a big bottle and it will last me a long time so for those looking interested in um, buying fragrances aftershaves 
um, yeah, I would recommend this. It is a really nice one. It's also quite a professional looking bottle as well. So I will go ahead and just leave that there for you guys to look at. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching another Yes Epic Yes video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to Yes Epic Yes, and let us know any video ideas that you want to see in the future in the comment section down below. We'll be happy to sort of look at your responses and, you know, try and get the best videos out possible for you guys. So subscribe to Yes Epic Yes, guys. I hope you enjoyed and see you later. Thanks for watching. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright.